Warning. Although my content is usually family-friendly, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such, will contain blood, language, suggestive themes, and violence. Viewer discretion is advised. We're finishing it all today. It's kind Last of trial. sweet, to be honest. Don't worry, there's still tons of other games in this series for us to yep. let's play after How this. How many so are there? Uh, let's see. Is there like six? Um, seven main ones, eight what? if you include Professor Layton versus Ace Attorney, and then I think nine or ten if you include the ones that are only in Japan. Oh my gosh. Or the ones that I haven't played. Oh. Anyways, welcome to the final episode of Phoenix Radius Ace Attorney. We are on Rise from the Ashes, final day, trial ladder, ladder two. two. Let's get going. February 25th, 2.21 p.m., District Court, courtroom number nine. Now then, will the defendant, Miss Lana Skye, please take the stand? Miss Lana Skye, you are the chief prosecutor. I'm sure you're aware of what is required of you. But Mr. Edgeworth, you already know everything. You know all that I've done these past two years. Please provide the court with your testimony, Miss Sky. And remember, you are under oath. We want to hear the truth. Of course. The truth. Lana! No matter what happens, I'll always be your sister. Now then, your testimony, if you will. First, tell us about your relationship with Gant. Everything hinges on your testimony. You're the only chance we have to get Gant. Well, Gant, frankly, is at Taco Bell right now, so he won't be back for, like, two hours. He's like, I need to get some I need five Nacho Bell Grande, please. <laughs> five. Why did you pick five? I don't know. <laughs> is it, like, for him and it's his friends to five. share? Oh. I don't know. Gant's in the fabrication. I worked alongside Gant for, for, for years. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. I fabricated the evidence two years ago all by myself. When I found Prosecutor Marshall's body, I rearranged the crime scene. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. Uh, sure. Sure, we all believe that. Hmm, are you sure about this testimony? Your Honor, I'm confessing to a capital offense. Of course I'm sure. But Lana! If this is true, then that means Chief Gant had nothing to do with this. That's what I've been telling you from the beginning. Please, Mr. Wright, you have to help her. She's sacrificing herself because of me. But what if she's telling the truth? She's not. I know my own sister. Whenever she speaks stiffly like that, she's hiding something inside. Deep down, she's really screaming in agony. Yeah, this is no time to start second-guessing myself. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Gant in the fabrication. Oh boy. Worked alongside Gant for years? Let's see. How many years exactly? Ever since I made senior detective. Let's see, I was 24 then, so that would be five years. Detective Gant and Detective Skye were legendary partners. I personally saw them testify in numerous cases. She must have been good coming from the same school as Mia. Damon Gant was a respectable detective. That's why. But think about it, Miss Skye. You didn't murder Detective Goodman. You told me as much yesterday in jail. You still don't get it, do you, Mr. Wright? Any testimony you cannot present in court is as useless as idle gossip. I stabbed Detective Goodman with a knife. And? She always turns away when she says that. Yeah, that's true. I still like the idea of her having just long hair over her face, though. <laughs> <laughs> She's just like... <laughs> yeah, like, exactly like that. It's, oh, it's like the Phineas and Ferb Porter movie. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. with Stacy with the oil on her hair. Yeah. That was the greatest. Did you do so to help your sister? Joe Dark was a serial killer. My sister almost became his last victim that day. I didn't want that incident to ruin her life. 
But what she did was justifiable self-defense. Exactly! She wouldn't have been charged with anything. That's not the point. She was traumatized that day, all because of that creep. That's why I couldn't forgive him. Lana! So that's why you fabricated the evidence two years ago? You say you did this all by yourself? Yes. Would you mind telling us what you found when you arrived at the crime scene? Seems I was the first person to discover the scene. The broken prosecutor award knife was stuck in the victim's body. What? But Prosecutor Marshall died from an unfortunate accident. That's only in a situation you dreamed was possible. The reality is, it wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. Oh! Cool! Fantasize all you want, Mr. Wright, but it'll never change this statement. You mean, Prosecutor Marshall wound up being killed by Dark? Something like that. If that is so, what happened to the other murder weapon? Dark was carrying a switchblade knife. Oh! That was lying on the floor a little distance away. It was probably knocked away in the struggle. That's not how it went down. She's trying to cover up her lies with more lies. All just to protect me. So when you found the scene like this, what did you do? After all, this is what everything boils down to. Yes. I broke off the tip of Dark's knife, planted it inside the wound, then moved the body. You planted the tip of Dark's knife in the victim's wound, and then you moved the body? But why? Why would you do that? You of all people should know, Edgeworth. You've always had a good head on your shoulders. My head isn't that bad, but maybe I ought to ask for the sake of others. Why did you plant the knife? Why did you move the body? Huh. Let's do these one at a time. But why did you do that? Come now, Mr. Wright. Even you should be able to figure it out. Very well, let's add this to the witness's testimony. The reason Miss Sky fabricated the knife. I knew the tip of the weapon found buried in the body would be all the proof we needed. According to your testimony, Prosecutor Marshall's broken knife was the murder weapon, right? Yes, and leaving it at that might point the blame away from Dark. I felt the most effective way to get him convicted would be by having the tip of his knife found inside the victim's body. So you... you buried it inside the victim's stab wound? Yes. Because I hated Dark for what he did. Hmm... My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. So you rearranged the crime scene. Are you sure you didn't do this to keep Emma from looking like the murderer? How many times do I have to tell you, Mr. Wright? Emma didn't do it. Period. Are you so desperate to hide that fact? You're willing to risk the death sentence? She's lying! She did it so I wouldn't be blamed for what happened! In any case, as a prosecutor, what I've done is unpardonable. There's nothing I can do to make up for my actions. Mr. Wright! My sister's lying! Looks like she's determined to protect you to the end. She insists she fabricated the evidence by herself. There's no way she could have done it alone! I've got to get Lana to talk more. If she's lying, then she's bound to slip up and make a contradiction. We need to do that other one. Yeah. <sighs> mm -hmm. Alright, why did you move the body? When you showed up on the scene, where exactly was the victim's body? It was where you deduced it was, by Chief Gant's desk. But the body was found by your desk. Why did you move it there? The reason for that is simple. Let's have the witness explain this in more detail. The reason Miss Skye moved the body. The pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. What? Pieces of the jar? You mean... Yes. That wretched jar Mr. Wright showed us earlier. In order to show that Dark committed the crime, 
I felt it would be more expedient to move the body. So, when you first found the body, the jar was already... Of course. It had been shattered to pieces. If you looked at the crime scene, it would be clear right away what happened. So, Neil Marshall was dead, and Dark was lying unconscious. In other words, the jar must have been broken during their struggle. Struggle? Struggle. I see. What's the matter, Emma? Apparently the jar shattered at the time the crime was committed. But I have a feeling there's more to it than that. There must be a contradiction here somewhere. Anyway, I committed this fabrication completely alone. I mean, All she right. very well might have, but... Do you know what's the contradiction here? The... So, basically she's saying that the jar broke during when uh, Neil was being killed. Well, no. I don't... Well, I'm trying to think of what happened again. Someone got thrown against the wall, and then the shatter fell. Or the, the, the shatter fell. The, the, the jar the, the fell jar and shattered. The jar fell and shattered. And then he was thrown against the... the a sword? That order? I can't, well, I can't remember what Lana's order trying was. to tell us that, like, he got knocked away by Emma, but that didn't kill him. Okay. And then, it, but, but it, like, hit the bench and it knocked the jar down and it shattered. Okay. And then Dark killed the guy. But not by throwing him against him. No, thing. no, by stabbing him with the broken prosecutor but award. They, That's she what she's saying. literally just was saying, like, oh, there's the whole... Like, they literally just showed that again with him getting stabbed. I think that was just... Okay. Yeah. I think it was just for a fact. Um. Um. Go Team Gant! Oh boy. I, uh. It's something pretty simple that I think is being overlooked. Is it just the face altogether? It is, but you know why? Emma's written on the surface in blood. Okay, so, so think How about it. How would he have been able to write it afterwards if it had already shattered? Exactly. Miss Sky, I understand how you feel. You committed that crime two years ago to protect your sister. You mean the forgery at the scene where Neil Marshall was murdered? If that truth were to be exposed now, the past two years of your life will have been useless. Even so, I am compelled to bring to everyone's attention a significant contradiction within your testimony. A contradiction in my testimony? You testified, and I quote, The pieces of the jar that shattered during the events threatened my plan. That's right. Do you have a problem with that? It's a simple oversight, really. You see, a message was written on this jar when the victim, with the victim's blood. Yes, the prosecutor must have written it in his final moments. Exactly so. And this is where the contradiction lies. In order for the victim to be able to write his message on the jar, it must not yet have been broken before he died. Ah. Uh. He couldn't have written Emma's name on a shattered jar. Order! Order! Your Honor, it would appear more information is needed in regard to this jar and its bloody message. We may be missing something critical here. Something critical? Chief Prosecutor, it seems you're as in the dark as we are about the truth towards where, which we're headed. What? Just tell us exactly what you saw. We'll piece together the information to arrive at the truth. Very well, the witness may now continue her testimony. Jar and message in blood. I immediately noticed the blood traces on the jar, but it was dark in the room and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were large, so I'm sure I got them all. All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. You mean you were the one who wiped away the message in blood? I wasn't Chief Prosecutor at the time. She didn't think Dark was the real murderer. That's why she tried to erase the real evidence! Yep. Very well, the defense may now begin its cross-examination. 
Cross-examination, jar, and message in blood. I love how they're still glaring at each other. Yeah, Although I there that. there is like a theory where it's like they're not glaring at each other, they were both glaring at the witness. Oh. And that makes sense for things like Gant, where it's like they both know he's guilty. Yeah. So the jar was already broken? It's a miracle that thing hasn't broken earlier. It certainly looks as feeble as the defense's case. Wow, that was uncalled for! But not as feeble as the judge's judgment. <laughs> You were an ace detective who never missed a detail. Do you really expect us to believe you didn't investigate what was written on the jar pieces? Normally I would have. It was dark in the room and I didn't have time. So you didn't know your sister's name was written on the, the jar? No. If I had known, I would have gathered all the pieces and ground them to dust. Oh wow. Well that helps my case. Lana, you'd do that for me? It seems you two might make up yet. Anyway, I just barely had enough time to move the body as it was. If someone happened upon the scene, you'd lose your chance to erase the evidence. You must have been in a hurry. I was. I knew I had to destroy the evidence before anyone came. That's really quick thinking, like... Comes in, sees, sees, her sister. sees someone dead, <laughs> yeah. sees sister unconscious, she's like, well, gotta erase the, the evidence. Body. <laughs> this <laughs> That's is really shop. strange. Especially since, um, she was like, oh, cradling Emma, making yeah. sure she's okay. And then after that, she was like, oh, shoot, I gotta go move a body. Or the other way around. Or the other way around. This is rather shocking. Wiped away the blood. It feels like a song. I'm afraid this action of yours reveals money. what really happened. What do you mean? If you really thought Dark killed Prosecutor Marshall, you wouldn't have wiped away the blood. What else could I have done in that situation? Lana! I only had a few moments. There wasn't enough time for me to do anything else but gather up the pieces. Fragments are large, so I'm sure I got them all. But how could you see with the power out? It should have been pitch black in that office. A detective is always prepared, Mr. Wright. Even now, I always carry a pocket light and a camera with me. What?! So you Did could you read! Did you take pictures?! Even I carry a bottle of emergency luminol wherever I go! I never miss anything, I got every last piece. Okay, if she had a camera, she could've been like... <laughs> Why would she take a picture, though, if it looked like Emma did it, though? That wouldn't make no sense. Well, but... I don't know. If I have a camera on a murder scene... My first instinct would probably be take the picture uh, oh, sure. after making sure someone's okay. And then text Nancy, please. No. So <laughs> Text 911, hey, uh, so this happened. Can you get over here? <laughs> so you illegally rearranged the crime scene? Yes. I don't have any excuse for my actions. I'm so sorry, Lana. I didn't know. I treated you so badly all this time. It's not too late. There's still plenty of time to make up. That's right. After we've gotten to the bottom of this incident. No doubt this day will leave a permanent stain on the history of the prosecutor's office. More contradictions have surfaced in her testimony. Your sister's really putting up a fight. She must really care about you. Still, she's not doing this the right way. I think I've finally figured out the contradictions in her testimony. There's one final possibility that might turn everything around. Oh, really? Yeah. So do I you, guess do you know where it is? Smarter than me. All you could think about fragments were large. They were what? so dark. She wiped away the blood. What? How? She immediately noticed the blood traces. It was dark in the room and didn't have time. Okay. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. But she literally just said she didn't have enough time. She didn't have enough time to read it properly. Oh, just to, she just had time to wipe it. Because, okay. Because when she got there, the jar fragments were shattered, but there was blood on it, so she couldn't put it together and read it. She's just like, gotta erase it. Okay. Fragments were large. What's the other one? All I could think about was wiping them clean before they were discovered. Um... Okay. I remember my first play from, like, I see it immediately. But... That's fine. There are a lot of really obvious ones I missed. It's this one. It's the fragments were large, so I'm sure I got them all. Oh, but you didn't, because yeah, Gant got it. Gant got Never it. mind. I was like, 
Once I read it, I was like, oh shoot, okay. Miss Sky, I believe this jar conceals a truth even you were unaware of. What? We found the final piece of this jar in Chief Gant's safe. In the Chief's safe? But how? I knew it. She really didn't know. There's something even more disturbing about that final piece. There was... still blood on it. Oh, yeah, okay. But the witness just testified that she gathered every last piece to wipe the blood off of them. Yes, which leaves us with only one explanation. On the night Prosecutor Marshall was murdered, you were not the first one to show up on the scene. Chief Gant got there before you. Okay, well that makes sense, because she was being so idiotic. <laughs> and but that makes sense, like, if she really did not know. But couldn't the defendant have simply missed a piece? I'm afraid that's unlikely. The pieces were far too big for anyone to miss, let alone an ace detective. That may well be, but everyone makes mistakes. Even I once wasted an entire day looking for my dentures. They were in my mouth all along. Ha! Can you believe that? Uh, but you don't have the job that she has. Have you forgotten, Your Honor? When this diff when this witness arrived at the scene, the jar was already broken. Oh, that. There's no way a name could have been written on a shattered jar. Another person discovered the scene prior to the witness. I hope you're not implying that this person was Chief Gant. At the time, he was looking for Dark downstairs. Besides, even if he was there first, why would he break the jar? The question is, if he did arrive there first, why did he hide that fact for two years? Well, Your Honor, can you answer us that? No! Wait, I'm not the one on trial here. <laughs> trail. It said trail. Oh, did it? It said trail. Wow. <laughs> Damon Gant arrived at the crime scene prior to the witness. He proceeded to break the jar and purposefully hid one of the pieces, broken pieces. Question, what is this action called? Fabrication. B but why would Chief Gant do that? In light of what happened afterwards, isn't it clear? What happened afterwards? Discovering the scene, Lana Skye believed her sister Emma killed the victim. Determined to help her sister, she sought Gant's aid. Lending her his aid, Gant helped her create evidence that incriminated Dark. Sparing Emma, and here is the reason. The reason why Miss Skye became the Chief's puppet. No, I did it on my own! Please, sis! Stop trying to protect the Chief! I... I can't watch you suffer anymore for my sake! No, you didn't! It wasn't you, Emma! You didn't kill anyone! Don't believe anything Mr. Wright says! Defense attorneys make up the most foul lies to defend their clients! Foul lies? Imagine that coming from my own client! Hmm... I guess you do seem the type who likes to twist the truth. That was uncalled for. Wait a minute. What if... We're still smack dab in the middle of Gant's trap? What do you think? He got away! He's at Taco Bell! Anything can happen! <laughs> Is something wrong, Mr. Wright? Lana? Maybe right, after all. What do you mean, right? So you do tell foul lies then, Mr. Wright? Miss Skye, please testify once more. But... If evidence was fabricated behind your back, then Emma's accidental killing of Prosecutor Marshall might also be a lie. But, but I do remember knocking over Mr. Marshall. Miss Skye, if you will. I... I can't. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. This cross-examination may not change a thing. However, there is a possibility that it will. If you tell the truth. Very well. I'll testify about what I really saw. Alright. The witness may testify once more for the final time. Last testimony. Aw. Actual crime scene. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on that suit of armor's sword. Emma and Dark were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. 
When I saw what had happened, I thought she... did it. That's why I erased all of the evidence that linked to her to the murder. I had Chief Gant help me remove the body from the sword and carry it. But if it all was really a fabrication, Emma might be innocent! Unbelievable! The body was impaled on the armor's sword? You were the only one who saw that. If only you had proof. Actually, I do have proof. I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. What? To me? It's a picture I took of the crime scene as I encountered it. I thought it might be needed. You were right. She did take a picture of her camera. Woo! But I don't remember receiving a picture like that. Lana must have known... See, Mr. Wright? She really does have faith in you. Very well, Mr. Wright. Please present this picture. I don't remember receiving any pictures from Lana. Lana said she gave it to you this morning, right? I seem to remember getting something from her then. Let's check out that evidence again. There must be a picture in there somewhere. Evidence law? Open. <laughs> what the heck? Is that like a yellow guy with a hairdo? <laughs> Looks like cheese. Or like a Lego brick. Oh my gosh, that's like totally a Lego guy. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> Hey, there's a picture here! Well, I mean, that's a great picture! Oh... Oh my... This is... the actual crime scene! No other detective saw a crime scene like this. That's because I contacted Criminal Affairs only after I rearranged the scene. Lana's picture inserted into the court record. <sighs> Mr. Wright! piece cut out of the vest, could that be? The cloth we found inside the Chief Gant's safe. What's this? It's a handprint. That cloth, it had fingerprints on it. Whoever's fingerprints those are must be the real murderer. What? But those fingerprints, they're yours, Emma! Why aren't your lips turned all purple, Mr. Wright? Anyway, let's get on with the cross-examination. So long as you tell the truth, we should be able to flush out the real murderer. Very well, the defense may now begin its cross-examination. Meanwhile, we haven't even gotten back to Goodman's crime. <laughs> cross-examination. Actual crime scene. Oh, man. What? that <laughs> back from taco bell <laughs> ah how was your gordita <laughs> <laughs> come now Uji. this is the poorest excuse for a trial i've ever seen chief gant what now you want to make me out as the bad guy too if so i'd like to put in a word or two in my defense i'm afraid it's too late for that D okay what did gant literally shove lana out of the way like i'm here probably <laughs> You already declined testimony. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. Nice job, Gant. This must be the risk the judge was talking about. Just sit back, relax, and, and enjoy, enjoy the, the sound, sound of the noose tightening <laughs> around your own neck. Okay, I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. Ah, so what? You think I'm worried? Well, considering you just electrocuted, electrocuted yourself? yourself? Yes, yes, I would think you are. <laughs> Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't need to make any statements. What do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. No, you can't. Yes, that's true. Wait, you mean you still have some conclusive evidence? No, I don't. But someone does. Someone? So then, what's your excuse, Righto? Why have you been keeping quiet about it? You do have something to show us, right? <laughs> something that proves who knocked over Neil Marshall, causing his death. Unless you Conclusive added it evidence in there. that leaves no room for doubt. Is this true, Mr. I Wright? think I know what happened. 
What? I think Gant came in and was like, I don't know who killed it, but I'm gonna make sure it's this girl, and then, like, grabbed the fabric and was like, Pucha! <laughs> and, like, threw it back on. Well, I mean, Emma pushed him out of the way, so it would have been there anyways. Oh. If I show that piece of evidence now, Emma's sure to be made out as the murderer. Mr. Wright, if you have any more evidence, present it now, and if you try to conceal anything, you will be the one appearing before the Board of Inquiries. What do I do now? I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make the wrong decision. Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows who really killed Prosecutor Marshall? Show it, or cannot show evidence? If you cannot show it, you will die, so... <laughs> so show it. Probably. Yes, Your Honor. I do have further evidence. All right! The time's finally come to show it to them. Those prints have got to be the chiefs. Sorry, Emma. Now then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. Check it out, Judge! It's my attorney's badge. No! I can't! I can't show them that yet! Why not? You know what item to show? Mr. Wright, if you're not sure, then think it through again. How can you use that evidence to your advantage? What do I do now? <laughs> Whoops, wrong one. <laughs> Sorry, I had to see what it said. That's... a piece of leather clothing? Yes. It most likely was cut from the victim's vest near his chest. What's this? There's a big handprint on it! Surely it must have been left on the cloth by whoever shoved the victim into the sword. What? Whose fingerprints are on this? I'm sure Raito has checked, haven't you? Well, whose are they? They're mine. They're Miss Skies. Miss Emma Skies. Oh, I thought... What? They're mine? So I really did do it. See? I told you it was conclusive. But... This was found in your safe. That means it's possible you forged it. I don't know what you're talking about. I don't remember any cloth in my safe. Do you really expect me to believe that? But... Give it up, Mr. Wright. It's over. You shouldn't have presented that. That's what I thought. By presenting that evidence... You tied Emma Sky to Neil Marshall's death. No. Sorry, Emma. Well, okay, we have to go back. It appears we have our killer. No! No! Everything hinged on that point. In the end, Lana was found guilty. Well... Non-standard game over. Yep. Okay. No, oh, wrong one. Oh, wrong one, sorry. Can't. I thought that would be dumb because I thought that would just instantly end it. Yeah. Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. What? You lie! Chief Gant? You! You opened my safe! I know you took what was inside! That conclusive evidence? I don't know what you're talking about. Mr. Light! Why don't you show them? We found it together! Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints are on it. That's why you won't present it. Okay, good grief, game. Why are you lagging this badly? <laughs> Sorry. God, <laughs> I can't stand the game like lagging at like a fourth of the speed that it normally is. That's fine. What are you talking about, Chief Gant? Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this picture. See the victim's vest? Notice anything odd about the chest area? There's a lot of blood on it. It looks like part of it's been cut off for some reason. You mean you had this in your safe? What? That means you, the chief of police, concealing evidence? This is going to be the biggest scandal in the history of the police department! 
Well, okay then. Impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you had the gall, Righto. I did. I thought you were guilty from well, the beginning. Well, I can't just let you pin me up as the murderer. I'll tell you what really happened. You forfeited testimony. You can't do this. What? You mean you admit to it? Uh. I was the first person to arrive at the crime scene that day. It then occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lana. So you really were manipulating her! I knew Lana. If I made it look like the blame lay with her sister, <sighs> that when she saw the scene she would ask for me for my aid. Oh man. So you assisted Miss Skye. <laughs> I told her to arrange all the evidence. I had her plant the knife tip in the victim's body and move the body across the room. And I ended up using that evidence to get Joe Dark convicted. When we rearranged the crime scene, I hid two pieces of evidence. I did this before Lana arrived at the scene. Two pieces of evidence. You mean those items in your safe. But why? For insurance, of course. Insurance? I was sure my plan would work, but it's always best to be prepared for the worst. I wasn't about to let anyone blame me for a murder that girl committed. You mean you were calculating that far ahead while forging the evidence? Who do you take me for? A fool? I didn't make police chief by dumb luck. See this jar fragment? I hid the most legible part of Emma's name. I didn't expect Lana to go and wipe the blood off all the pieces. But if you fabricated all the evidence, what's to say you didn't fabricate the message on this jar, too? Ho, ho, ho. Some people just don't know when to quit, do they? That's why I kept one more item for insurance. Mm -hmm. You mean, that piece of cloth? Come on, Righto. Cough it up already. I know you have it. Mm. What are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? So you admit to it then, Chief Gant? That you were hiding the cloth you cut off the victim's vest in your safe? Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do that being chief and all. But it's a lot better than being portrayed as a murderer. That's true. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you said you didn't have any evidence you could present. Foolish move, Righto. You should have shown it then before it was too late. It's been a long battle. But the moment of truth has finally arrived. As long as I don't mess up here, victory is mine. Show evidence or cannot show evidence? Well, we have to now. <laughs> what happens if we say can't show evidence? No, it's too late to show the evidence now! Besides, even if I did, it had just exposed that poor, poor girl's fingerprints. Right, think hard over the circumstances. The circumstances? I'm talking about then and now. There's one major difference between the two. Weren't you waiting for that difference? So, I just figured out my plan! Mr. Wright, this is your only chance. Your Honor, I do have evidence to present now. Alright then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that shows who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, your opinion please? He seriously has to show that off everywhere. I think Mr. Wright's humor has improved at the expense of his defense. Better polish up your defense, Mr. Wright. Come on, Mr. Wright! You remember that thing with the murder's handprint on it, don't you? There's no way around it, Mr. Wright. I'll ask you just one more time. Your Honor, I do have evidence to present now. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut this out. You've personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest. Oh yes! At last, you finally brought it out into the open. There's a handprint on this piece of cloth. Your Honor, the prosecution requests that that be sent immediately to the lab for analysis. This handprint on the lever. There must have been a strong impact for it to be left so clearly. 
You mean... It could not have been forged. It must be authentic, conclusive evidence. Ho ho ho! You're as slow on the uptake as ever, Worthy. What? Think about it. Rhino had all this time to present this evidence. Yet he was reluctant to do so. Why would that be? You mean you already know? You know whose fingerprints are on that? Mr. Wright, do you really know? Whoever the fingerprints belong to must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? Very well. I'll tell you. It should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. The person whom these fingerprints belong to are... <laughs> we can say Damon Gant, That'd see what fun. happens. <laughs> no, it's no use buying here. They'll discover the truth on the second they analyze, it, they analyze this. <laughs> What's the matter, Mr. Wright? Hurry up and tell us. For whatever reason, it's better to do this Emma? now than later. Emma Sky? Or than earlier. What? They're mine? I'm sorry, Emma. But why? Why didn't you tell me? Oh ho 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 ho! Someone's a jolly happy You're old really guy. something, Righto. You knew this girl did it all along, and you still tried to pin the murder on me. So it's true. Tragic, but true. This girl really did shelf Prosecutor Marshall to his death. How could you? You monster! Miss Skye. You know whose fingerprints those were all along, yet you. you acted like she really didn't. Miss Sky, it's not over yet. What? I said this trial isn't over yet. Ha! But I'm afraid it is over, boy. Not only this trial, but your career, too. You purposefully concealed this conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. You didn't conceal it, though. I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. Why is this running at like a fifth of the speed? Holy cow. It's like cow. the so super epic moment. It's like... It's like that scene with Mr. Rappin where it's like, now we're going to take the fire and like that shot goes super slowly. And the birds flying out the window really slowly. Now, I'd like you all to open your exercise books and take down the following equations, which you will have to solve for tomorrow's task. I'm gonna have to put that in the video just so people understand. Yeah, now you will know. <laughs> now you know what I'm talking about. I'll have your badge, boy. What's the matter? Cat got your tongue? Meow. Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer? Not single-handedly. It's your dang fault, man. Before I do that, there's just one little thing I have to clear up. Oh, and what's that? Who really killed Prosecutor Neil Marshall? What? Chief Gant, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? It was Emma Skye, wasn't it? I'm afraid that's not possible. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? A contradiction? What is this fool babbling about? I'm talking about a contradiction, one that proves who the real killer is. Huh? Even I'm confused at this point. Oh, you are? Yeah. M Mr. Wright, this piece of cloth, what could it possibly contradict? Chief Gant, your tyrannical reign ends here. Woo! Behold, the piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth. Oh. Uh, no. <laughs> oh, 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 it's fun watching you squirm, Righto. This piece of evidence indeed seems to contradict something, like your outward appearance of mental sanity. Wow. What am I doing? If this cloth was cut from Prosecutor Marshall's vest after he died, then something's definitely not right about it. It's too late to turn back now. You're the only one who can put an end to this, right? 
Have, did you see it now? Um. Uh. If, if it's no, that's fine. I'll just go to the right one. I want to look, though. I want to find okay. this out, because this must be the last one, I'm guessing. Alright. Uh, next page. Can we sprint? No, we can't. We can't sprint the middle. There's a rubber glove. Does she wear gloves? No. No, okay. <laughs> I was, like, getting so excited. I'm like, wait! Wait, who? Emma or Emma? Mom? Emma's a scientific investigator. No. Okay. We have we don't see her wear gloves. Is it seriously <laughs> slowing down again? It's because we're looking I can't at save and quit again. This is the epic part. Well, let's look at the let's look at the picture. No, not that picture. The the Team Gant picture. Oh my gosh, it's running at like a sixth of the speed now. There's a sword. Gant looks super duper happy. Well, not super duper happy, but you know. He looks like himself. Uh, I don't see it, and I feel so sad because I want to find it. Do you give up? No. And everyone hates me, probably. No, no one hates you. Okay, well, but I'm like trying to figure this out for myself. Bears and the sky. Check, 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 check. Maybe that's what we need to do. Back. Up. Exam. This is a handprint, right? Yeah, someone left behind an oil stain on the fabric. Whoever it was, they must have had a really oily hand. Sorry, Emma. Mr. Wright, think about it scientifically. Huh? A more likely explanation is... The person slipped and fell on freshly waxed floor. Getting wax all over their hand. Well, that would account for this amount of oil, I guess. I don't see what's so scientific about it, though. It happens, you know. I always slip on the floors at school after they're waxed. Your school waxes their floors? That's impressive. Is it the evidence law book? We haven't used it yet. How would that contradict the cloth? I don't know, but we haven't really used it yet. Um... Back page. The, the jar. The jar. Oh, jar! Look at the jar! Everybody loves the jar. <laughs> We've used this as like the evidence five times now. Turn it around and around and a, and a down. Can you see inside? Yes, you can, but there's nothing in it. Ah, oh, that's a shame. Alright. I don't know. It's fine. No worries. And what exactly is this supposed to be? This is the picture Miss Sky took. Take a good look at it. Going to. See where the piece of his vest was cut out? Yes. His shirt is showing underneath. It's hard to make out with all the blood on his vest, though. Exactly my point. His chest is soaked with blood. That's only natural. His lungs, no doubt, were punctured. Blood poured out of his mouth. Oh! But that piece of cloth! It has no blood on it. Wait, there's no blood on it. Ah! Since Emma Sky's fingerprints are on the cloth, there's no doubt that she shoved the prosecutor aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on the sword. No, th this is nonsense. Now then, Chief Gant, let me ask you something. Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he was shoved aside. He most likely hit his head on the ground and was knocked out. If so, then tell me, who could it have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Miss Sky, picked up the unconscious prosecutor, and impaled him on the armor's sword? <laughs> then, to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death, he wrote it in blood. said person proceeded to write her name on the jar with the victim's blood. Then, he broke the wow. jar on purpose to I leave mean, behind a clue. I mean, I gotta hand it to him. This guy's smart. Like, but also, like, a horrible, horrible person. person. <laughs> but, like, he was like, alright, I'm gonna do this, and then I'm gonna do this, and then this is going to make this look this way so I can blackmail it. Like, I mean, yeah. he's got a brain, for sure. And make Lana believe her sister did it. No! Why is it lagging so bad? Remember what you admitted to only moments ago? This is ridiculous. 
<laughs> Everyone's like, why are you doing this? And we're like, no, this has to happen. I, like, I'm afraid the emulator's gonna crash. Right. I've heard emulators have crashed at this point in the game. Oh, that'd be a problem. Yeah. Alright. Remember what you admitted to only moments ago? That you personally cut out this bloodless piece of the victim's vest? Ironic, isn't it? For the very act of creating insurance, you proved that you were the actual murderer. No! It's finished. At least it is. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. That was close, Rhino. You almost had me. You're sweating as much as Whiz Pig. Sorry! Or not Whiz Pig, Big Pig. <laughs> but you'll have to do better than that. I refute your allegations. What do you mean you refute his allegations? You see, that piece of cloth is illegal evidence. Uh, yeah. Order! Order! What nonsense is this? Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect. Remember, Archie? Earlier, old Rhino here concealed that piece of cloth. So then, what's your excuse, Rhino? You do have some conclusive evidence, don't you? Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this point in time. At this point in time? Well, that's true. The defense did refuse to present evidence. At that moment, that piece of cloth ceased to be legal evidence. But that's not fair! <laughs> Did you actually think you could best me in court? It looks like the last laugh's on you, son. Here's the deal, though. Judge can be the ver do the verdict and be like, well, Such this be guy. It. I'm afraid Mr. Gant's claim is legally correct. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? True. Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a person. Assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Hmm? Well, Mr. Wright? It seems, at last, the time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived. Mr. Wright, do you admit to it that you purposefully and illegally concealed this piece of cloth? I did, or I did not. Ah! <laughs> um, what is your plan, Phoenix? We can't- I can't think telepathically. <laughs> okay. If he did, then he'll have that on his record, but it's totally fine. And if he does okay. not, then... Oh. <laughs> if he does not, then it's like, well, I guess Gant's going free, so... Oh, if I admit to that, all my planning will have been for nothing! It seems Mr. Wright didn't understand the implication of his conduct. If you're going to change your position, this is your only chance, right? He's right. Certainly, I refuse to present evidence at one point. Aha! So the evidence is illegal. No, it isn't, Mr. Gant. Huh? It's not that I didn't present evidence then. It's that I couldn't. What do you mean, you couldn't? There are certain procedures involved when presenting evidence. No, Uji! Don't listen to his lies! He's nothing but a coward! You can't let him! There's only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? Very well, let us settle this once and for all. Earlier, you refused to present evidence. If you can prove your conduct was not in violation of the law, do so now. Now we can use the book! Now book. we can use the book! book. But, uh, of course, you, you know what's about to no. happen. <laughs> Why do you always do I want to see all the dialogue! It seems your very existence is illegal. Huh? You've lost it, right? All this time, I thought you were using the Chief's knowledge of the law to trap him. It looks like you're the one who got trapped. I guess I should just stick to what I'm used to. I never expected to hear that coming from a defense attorney. Gant's a pro at slipping through loopholes in the law. Still, the law's the only weapon I can use to beat him. It's running slow again. Oh, not anymore. Good. It fixed itself. This is my proof, Your Honor. Evidence law. What's this? I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma Sky's fingerprints were on this piece of cloth. 
However, at that point in time, this was merely a piece of cloth. Nothing more. What? You see, it's written right here in this book. The second rule of evidence law. Rule 1, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of evidence myself, inside your safe. It goes without saying, I did not have approval from the police department. Rule 2, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case and trial. And, here is the crux of the matter. You see, at the time, it was impossible for me to prove the relevance between the cough and the SL9 incident. What? What kind of nonsense is this? You want relevancy? Just take one look at this picture and... Sorry, but can you recall when was that picture presented? That was shown only a few moments ago. No. He's right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of cloth was still meaningless. The person who gave it its value as its evidence was you, Damon Gant. You yourself confess to a certain truth. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's vest? Oh yes! No! It was then that you approved this cloth as conclusive evidence. Yes, you the chief of police personally approved this cloth. The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest is the one who stood before Prosecutor Marshall in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer, and there's only one person who that could be. Damon Gant, the killer was you. Is he gonna let himself to this? <laughs> I knew I should have gotten rid of him. That good-for-nothing scum! For two years he's been snooping around the department trying to get something on me. Good on you, Bambina. Crimes are being committed every day, yet he insisted on hounding me. Well, your crime wasn't exactly petty. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited Angel Starr, then convinced Bruce Goodman. Detective Goodman? Yeah, that's right. If the evidence is transferred, I'll lose my only chance to find out the truth. Please, you've got to help me. Goodman turned him down, as he ought to. Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. He stole Goodman's ID card and tried to take the Look evidence. Look at how slow his I'm finger is going! <laughs> Okay, Everybody, I was worried, because okay. Gant's breakdown has been known to crash emulators. Oh. Like, apparently he claps and flashes the screen at such a high rate that the emulator can't keep up sometimes. Oh, wow. <laughs> Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a lost item report. I went with him to the evidence room. Then all of a sudden he had to speak out. What are you talking about, Goodman? Can you please reopen the investigation, Chief? We can't transfer the evidence out, there are too many questions left unanswered. He... told me to open up the evidence room and take it out. It's not too late. I'll hand this to Marshall! Well, to be honest, I was a little panicked, too. I had a bad feeling about it, but never knew it would come to this. That's when I saw it. That accursed knife. Well, I guess we know that, uh, Gant's just a terrible person! I couldn't just pull it out. You would only increase the amount of blood and you couldn't finish what you started. Even so, the blood was just pouring out. I didn't know who might stumble in, so I was wiping it up. I was worrying so much about the floor, I didn't realize my mistake. Detective Gumshoes. Bloody handprint. I used to be known as the Crime Computer. But everyone has to start somewhere, I guess. I was too nervous. I had no business doing any of it. Then you put the body in my car. I'm sorry, we couldn't think of any other way to move the body. 
We broke the trunk, but what's the big deal? You pulled down a lot more than us detectives! <sighs> well, what does this have to do with anything? You're horrible! How could you get Miss Sky involved in all this? Well, she had just as much to lose as I did if the truth came out. So you took the evidence from Detective Goodman's locker? I feel bad for having to do it. I couldn't sit around and pick and choose what to take. Well, you left the jar fragment in the gloves. Yeah. Looks like I was better off being an investigator of crimes than a committer. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> they all did their best to get in my way. I've got to hand it to them. They do their jobs well, much to my dismay. Fake evidence doesn't hold up very well upon close examination. You must have known that. Tell me, Worthy. What are you doing in court? Me? You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. One day you'll understand. If you want to take them on alone, you'll figure out what's needed. Well, looks like it's time to say goodbye. Oh, Udgy. What? Looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date. I'm sorry, old friend. I'm sorry too, Damon Gant. For what? He's terrible. I knew you as you used to be long ago. You were once a fine investigator and an example to others on the force. I'm sorry to learn that you are no longer that person. Those days are gone now, Udgy. Thanks for all the memories, though. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Now you have Rido here. And Worthy. With these two around, you can't go wrong. You see, if I listen carefully, I can hear it right now. The sound of a new beginning! Uh... Maybe. Are you in jail? <laughs> <laughs> there are two things I want you to understand. Yes. First, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damon Gant betrayed you from the beginning. You see, Miss Skye, you no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. When this trial's over, I'll tell everything. All that I've done these past two years, from the time I had Gant help me forge evidence up until today. So? It seems all the questions raised in this trial have been answered. I'm sorry, Miss Sky. I couldn't get you out of all your trouble. My, my. What high standards you have for a rookie. I can see why Mia thought so highly of you. The, is, the game is whining! The game is whining! <laughs> the game's whining! Are you gonna start saving? Are you gonna start cutting out that part? I hope so. Okay. If I can. Okay, it's even lagging while it's saving. I'm just flat out closing the emulator. Who knows? A few years from now, you just might make it to the top. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. Miss Sky. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. Believe me, I know how much of an ordeal it's been for you. <laughs> it was nothing. Buyer. <laughs> I was worried the pressure might break you. And yet, you rose above it all and guided Mr. Wright to victory. You've done well, Mr. Edgeworth. T Stop it! I only did my job. In light of this case, it seems a good self-examining is in order for all of us. Miss Sky? Yes, Your Honor? You are innocent of murder. However, although the Chief blackmailed you, the fact is you still acted as his accomplice. A trial will be scheduled for these crimes at a later date. Yes. I understand, Your Honor. Is there something amusing about all of this? Why are you smiling? It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I felt free of those heavy chains.
Well, this trial has gone on far too long already. Yeah, no kidding. Regarding the charge of murder, this court finds the defendant, Miss Lana Sky. No! Not guilty! Hey! <gasps> Thanks for the confetti gumshoe. Wow, there's people screaming in the audience. That is all. The court is adjourned. I think they're just like, yes, we can finally we go, go home. home. <laughs> February 25th, 5.03 p.m., District Court, Defendant Lobby, number two. At long last, it's finally over. Uh, Emma? Why the wrong face? I'm sorry your sister didn't get completely off the hook, but at least she wasn't convicted for a murder she didn't commit. No, that's not it. Just now, after the trial ended. I can see why Mia Fey thought so highly of you. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. You've suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. You've done well. You know, I did my best too. But Lana didn't even say a single word to me. Hope I'm not interrupting anything. Go sure you suck. Here's <laughs> <laughs> the worst timing. Oh, guess I am. I'll come back later. Ah, uh, detect the gumshoe. What is it? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Making the detective run around all while on duty. And to top it all off, you call me here? I've seen happier people at funerals. Hey, lighten up, pals. I'm only kidding. Oh, are you here because of my sister again? Nope. Not this time. I came today because of you, pal. Me? That's right. I thought you'd like to see someone. Lana! Should you be doing this? She's still under arrest, you know. Well, I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> <laughs> Emma, I owe you an apology. It's okay, sis. Don't worry about it. That day, two years ago? Was the first time in my life I ever panicked. It was all I could do to keep myself from screaming. All I could think about was keeping you safe from- Keeping you from getting wrapped up in that mess. Sis? I asked Gant to help me cover up the truth. I thought I was doing it for your sake. But now, I realize I was wrong. I changed after that day. I had to. It was the only way I could make it through the past two years. I knew how much I was hurting you by distancing myself. But I couldn't bring myself to tell you what I did. I... I was scared. Scared that you would look at me with those eyes of yours. I was scared of how you'd react if you knew. But sis, you were only doing it for me. No. Huh? I turned my back on you that day. In hiding what I believed to be the truth, I was deceiving you. Sis. I'm such a fool. It took me all this time to realize it. Emma, I'm so sorry. But sis, you don't have to apologize. I'm happy now. You're happy? Of course! You know, sis, I always knew that one day you'd come back, and now you have. Oh, Emma. Emma! Best smile in the game. She has a, sim she has a smile that another video game character has, and I can't remember. No one can change the past. The only thing we can do is strive to make up for our mistakes. Why must we make up our mistakes, you ask? Because in do so doing, we can find the way back to our path. And once we've found our path, we can move on from our past mistakes toward a brighter future. And less lag. Still a bit of lag. <laughs> at least that's what I felt looking at those two sisters make up. Mr. Wright. Mr. Gumshoe. M me Thank you both for all that you've done. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. 
Isn't that right? Edgeworth? Uh, Edgeworth? Stop hiding and come over here. He was behind the plant, I'm sure. <laughs> Hedger Can you imagine Ed Edgeworth, it's trying Hedgeworth. To hide Hedgeworth trying to hide behind a plant? <laughs> He's just like standing still like, no one will see me in my gigantic bright colored vest. Where was he hiding? I just came to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth! Right. Well, I'll be going now. Mr. Edgeworth, I hope you don't blame yourself for what happened. We were the ones who acted corruptly, not you. It's too late for me. No matter what anyone may say, I realize today that I can't change my own mistakes. Mr. Edgeworth... Not only that, but I don't even trust myself anymore. Chief Gant was right. You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. But one of us is more insane than the other. One day you'll understand. If you want to take them on alone, you'll figure out what's needed. I do despise criminals. I plan to dedicate my entire life to fighting them. But in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. It's scary, but I've been thinking the same thing for quite some time now. But Edgeworth... Who knows? Given enough time, I might have tried to pull something like Chief Gant did. That thought terrifies me. That's why I can't continue on as a prosecutor. Edgeworth, don't you understand? Damon Gant and your mentor, Manfred von Karma, were both the best of the best when it came to fighting crime. But they both made the same mistake. You said, in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. That may be right, but think back to today's trial. You weren't alone. You were working together with Mr. Wright. And because of that partnership, you were able to present evidence that otherwise would have gone undiscovered. Isn't that right, Mr. Wright? Huh? What? Oh, uh, yeah. What is this, a pop quiz? Come on, Mr. Wright! Show him what Lana's talking about! Oh, that's evidence right! The extra thing! That neither Edgeworth nor I would have been able to find on our own? Screwdriver! It's not that. <laughs> That might mean something to you. <laughs> nope! <laughs> but I don't see how it had anything to do with our partnership. Huh? Mr. Wright, it seems you still have a lot to learn as well. I guess that wasn't the right piece of I evidence. I thought it was! <laughs> no, it's was the evidence it's... list. Oh, the evidence list, okay. It was also the screwdriver. That's the picture I drew! Our counterattack began with this. You had one half of the evidence list and I had the other. Apart, we wouldn't have been able to completely restore Emma's picture. That didn't just happen by chance, Edgeworth. It's time for me to go. Mr. Edgeworth! If you'll excuse me, there are still some loose ends that need wrapping up. Why not party? Take care, Chief Prosecutor. Can you imagine Edgeworth at a party? No. <laughs> exactly. Edgeworth! What will you do now? Well, whatever you do, just remember. What happened in this trial can either make or break you as a prosecutor. In the end, it's up to you. I know. Seems I owe you my thanks too, right? But what I face now is my problem. Yeah, okay. Edgeworth, I'll be waiting for you in court. Farewell. Bye-bye, Mr. Edgeworth. I'd better be getting back, too. Okay, I'll come visit you. Seems we both still have a lot to learn. Here, this is a little something for you. Scientific investigation? It's the first book I ever bought. Study it well. Thanks, sis! I will! And so, another case came to a close. She smiles like Rosalina. That's who I'm thinking of. Rosalina like, doesn't smile? Yes, like, she does! Like, ever! <laughs> yes, she does! She smiles like when the baby loom is like, Wah! Wah! 
hands, and she's oh. like, oh. Oh, forgot like, about that. Yeah. Go, Mario! <laughs> Go, Mario! <laughs> Save them! <laughs> As for the sisters, I have faith. Here's the real question. Will we see Maya? Faith that their lives have only just begun. And as for me, I think it's time I started on a new journey of my own. A journey to rediscover myself. Why is Edgeworth so big in that? <laughs> well, don't go trekking off just yet, pal. Huh? What is it, Detective? There's just a little matter to be resolved about the Chief Prosecutor. You see, she isn't supposed to be out of jail like this. But... I thought you said it was okay. Yeah, well, it may be okay with me, but the folks at the prison are a different story. <laughs> huh? Basically, I had to bribe a guard in order to sneak her out for 30 minutes. Believe me, it wasn't cheap either. Huh? Way to go, Detective! I didn't know you had a wild side. Yeah, well, haha! <laughs> you see, Mr. Wright here is the one who will be footing the bill. Huh? Right. Huh? What, you think I could afford that with my salary? You gotta be kidding me, pal! Huh? 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 <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Wright. You're the best. Why is it... I suddenly feel like I want to scream. Since we're all here, why don't we all go together? You too, Marty. Yeah, that's a great idea. Come on, guys. Let's go! OBJECTION! <laughs> They're like, let's start by looking for finger- Oh, okay. It's the credits. It's the credits. I better see a cutscene of them getting burgers. <laughs> I arranged for a friend of mine in Europe to take care of Emma. She's a coroner. I think Emma will be pleased. As for me, this affair has pretty much ended my days as at the prosecutor's office. Still, I'll manage to find my way back to the field somehow. Then, I'll be able to investigate crimes together with Emma. Okay, I really coroner? would, want, I would love coroner? to see Lana as a prosecutor in a future game. Yeah. Coroner, yeah. Or coroner. Cor coroner. coroner. One, one of those one two. One of those two. I, I said both at that point. I think one is a currency. Takashi, 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 Takashi. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Marty's a big Studio Ghibli fan. Or Ghibli. Ghibli, I don't know. It. It, it's really good. Yikes! I thought I was a goner for a moment there. In the end, though... They overlooked my unauthorized investigation <laughs> of the chief's office. Wow! If we penalized you any more, it'd be worse than firing you. Yep, that's what they said. It just goes to show, you can't shake me off that easily. Good on you, gumshoe. He can get a better job. He's getting paid less than peanuts. Kishimoto and Enomoto. Is moto a common suffix for yes. a Japanese name? Ogiwara Nakagi, or Naka, Nagaki. Nagaki. Oh, I just realized, maybe I could play one of the Japanese-only games and you can translate everything. Woo! That would be terrible. I'd be like, I oh, could say oh. strawberry! My new mission is to guard the main entrance and take care of Billy! Can you believe it? I've been demoted to a security guard! My partner's keeping an eye on the entrance for me today. I'll show them, though! Someday I'm going to make detective! Yes, sir! Then I can be just like that to come true! Oh my gosh. No, Good literally, you, literally, if I was trying to translate the game, it's like, I know this word! It oh. says sushi! Like, I, oh, okay. Especially if it's all kanji, I would be terrible. It's, it's all kanji. Nope, can't do it. <laughs> Never mind. I'm so bad at kanji. Yeah, well, I'm, I'm sure there'll be a fan I'll translation be... eventually. It's for the yeah. 3DS anyways, I can't even let's play the 3DS ones. Oh, okay. I want to hear someone make like an epic orchestral remix. Oh, 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 I heard this amazing oh, oh, oh. remix of um Rossetti's theme online. <laughs> That's like great. it's like a like a dubstep remix. It's oh amazing. yes, I love dubstep. Okay, I got I, like I got to show it to you after this. Like... It's so funny. It was like for uh, April Fool's Day or something. Oh, They're like, funny. I got this, and like what you all been waiting for. It was great. <laughs> Shiro Mikata Hitoshi <sighs> Sakai Hey, you're back! What is it? Can't you see I'm having me a showdown with a steak lunch partner? Miss Star managed to sneak this into me. She's seeing one of the guards, it seems. Well, cowboy, looks like you did it. He's in jail? You even gave Bambina back her smile. Can you make sure Billy and the gang get their water? It's Billy. His pet cactus partner. Oh. <laughs> I forgot that was Billy. 
Wow. Kagi I mean, you did, a, you did a good job on the sound. It just sucks on the emulator. Yep. Looks like we won't be seeing each other for a while. As a farewell gift, I put a new meal on the menu. The right way lunch. The top layer tastes as bitter as defeat, but the bottom layer is as sweet as victory. Kids seem to dig the turnabout theme. It's a hot seller around exam time. Just make sure not to eat it backwards. <laughs> That's weird. During also, I, I love it whenever they use the word turnabout in the game. It's yeah. like a nice meta joke. Mobilization! <laughs> ben Judd! Woo! Get on you, Ben Judd! Woo! Is that just one guy? Oh, never There's mind. There's more. Brandon oh, Gay, I wonder, Kaori Fukashi. I wonder if anyone Bonakashi. worked on this from the Animal Crossing team. I'll never forget what that young defense lawyer said after the trial. Let's see, what was his name again? Mr. Left? Anyway, he said he's been doing this, er, something other for, uh, how many years? Well, anyway, I've got another trial to get to, so I better be... Huh? Oh no, I forgot my gavel! Sorry, I gotta go. Uh, he didn't eat, either. Angel Star's probably hooking him up. That's true, Angel- he loves Angel Star's boxes. Boxes? You might want to rephrase that. Sorry. <laughs> the boxed lunches! Sorry, we'll- we'll do whatever with that. Patrick J. Riley. Or J. Patrick Riley. Yoko Mudo. Alexander O. Smith. Is that his last name or his middle initial followed by his last? <gasps> ah! Nothing soother, soothes like the soul like a fresh country air. Still, sometimes I do miss hearing Nick and his objections. Still, I can't go back until I'm a full-fledged spirit medium. My uh, afternoon training's about to begin. Coming! Well, see you around, Nick. That's going to appear in the next game, the place she's in. Oh, sweet. I don't know who said that, though. So I was just like, No, that's ah! fine. It, it was supposed to be your voice, anyways. Oh, okay. Special thanks to Kimioi Yama Zoe. I'm so Woo! sorry. We can't pronounce your names, but you're all great. <laughs> I, I, I could, but I need more time than that. Keiji Kubori. Setsuo Tamahiro Yamamoto. Masudo. A+. Plus. Are we going to hear from anyone Hideaki else? Hideaki Katagiri. I know there's at least one more person we're hearing from. Oh, oh, is it Phoenix Wright? Like, hey, good job! <laughs> you see me from a third-person perspective now. Oh, Edgeworth, yeah. Mr. Edgeworth? Oh, <laughs> uh, Mr. Edgeworth, I brought you your tea. What's going on? Ooh, foreshadowing. Nice. What? Is he really leaving the business? Oh, good job, producer. Producer is like the hardest Mine job ever. They, they better show the producer after that. No, they, they oh, showed him. Didn't they show him after the credits for the other ones? This is just basically the DLC characters. Oh, here we go. This is the last one. Thanks for coming to see me off. I can't believe I'm going to Europe. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Thank you so much for everything. I'm a little sad, but I'll be all right. Whenever I want to see Lana, all I have to do is open this book. Aww. That is like the most adorable photo ever. <laughs> How little is she there? Is she the same age? She's little. She's littler. She's like 10. That's so cute! Yeah, it is. And good that's you, Phoenix Cap Wright. Good on you, Capcom. Amazing You didn't make game. a ton of good things, but you made Mega Man and you made this. <laughs> Those are the two best things that Capcom has made. Did they also make um the, the fighting game that you like that has Marvel Link in it? Soul Calibur 2? Yeah, did they make Soul Calibur? I, no, that's Namco. Okay. Wow. So yeah, Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Look at all this cool pictures we got. Never would have guessed how... There's still no picture! Nope, that one doesn't get a picture. That's dumb! <laughs> I'm sorry, I wanted a cute picture okay. of Emma, okay. and then a picture of Gant, like, being Viewers, evil. your job as fan artist is to make a, yes. a poster for that. Yes, make us a picture, that. send it to us, we will... 
post it if you make it, because we don't have a big enough fan base that, like, we'll expect anyone to make one. Yeah, this will probably happen. Anyways. If you made it through this entire Let's Play, good on you, because I'm sure this is going to be the longest thing. But people like watching this. Dude, true. People and our reactions like are going to be cool. Anyhow, that's it for Phoenix Friday Ace Attorney. I hope you enjoyed this, like, half as much as we enjoyed recording it. This oh, is this so was a blast. Fun. We're going to do the second game in this series. We will. We might start recording it pretty quickly I after think we this, will, but, but we it won't, won't be uploaded To give until... you guys a break, we won't upload yeah. it immediately. Anyhow, tune in for our next Let's Play. Hope to see you there. Until we meet again, have a great day, and may God bless you with it.